go back to the land. Speak to me. Call of the cups. Narush is cold as eyeing you with a naked interest. Hail, finless one, and welcome to the cups. Long have I wanted to converse with one of your kind. I am called Narush's coal. How may I address you? Black Dragon Romeo. Black Dragon Romeo? Curious. Before we speak at length, there is something I would show you to show to you. Let us leave behind the cups and head due west. Come. See what he has to show us. He doesn't try to see. What is going on here? Where am I? It's a very interesting place. I think I'm going the wrong way. I was going the right way. Oh, that's a shame. What a waste of one minute of my life. The illuminated land is the next quest. Sometimes a guy just needs some inspiration, am I right? Oh no, come on, you gotta be kidding me. So first, it said it was too low, too high. Is there something there? Wait, no, I'm gonna die in a fall now. No, risk not falling. Is there supposed to be a dungeon or something here somewhere? Oh, wait, I can use the little fountain thing. Good, I need to die. Okay, seems like I'm the wrong way. And it took me all the way up. Just like it did in another certain expansion of this same game, if you know what I mean. Okay, I messed up big time. That was not where I was supposed to go. I have to go all the way back now. Typical. Typical navigation problems. Oh, see, it's faster to navigate without the up and down arrows that they've started doing in this game. Let's just follow. Maybe down a hill or something. It'll be really annoying. Tempest Swallow, such a nice looking fish. Sometimes I wonder what they would taste like. If I go to China, I could probably taste it out anyway. Arusha is cold. These relics are of your kind, yes? The leavings of a ship that sailed the seas above long, long ago. They lie as they fell untouched by any ondo. For most have little interest in the affairs of the finless. I, however, do. Ever since I saved one, saved by one of yours after being washed ashore, merry and near death. Such kindness is a rare and wonderful thing. I uh, know more of the people who showed it to me. And so I ask you, Black Dragon, to teach me your ways. These objects, for example, what purpose do they serve? How are they to be used? Arusha's gestures to the nearby debris, entreating you to inspect closely and offer a detailed explanation. That, my friend, is a barrel. And that's a ship here. Among these debris, you spy what appears to be remnants of several shattered bottles of wine. 
Such fragile containers. They were, I spec, they were once contained something of great value. What can you tell me of their purpose? They were used as makeshift weapons, first to bludgeon, then to stab. Uh, not quite. They were used to store intoxicating spirits. Fragrant, fragrant liquids which cloud the mind. I've heard of these before. Do finless ones so delight in dulling their wits? Yeah, no idea. Among the debris, you spy what appears to be a rotting ship's wheel. That was carved from wood from one of your many trees, yes? What purpose does this peculiar contraption serve? Fashion, you wear it on your head. <laughs> uh, it's used to steer a ship at sea. Ah, the vessel your kind uses to traverse our waters. Then without a wheel, it is at the mercy of the wind and the currents? I see. we could do what if what if we use fill water in the bottle and then she could lay her eggs in the bottle that would be interesting weird sounding I know but it sounds pretty cool in my head
I hope he doesn't shank me outside. You know? Like, yo, mate, let's go outside. But shank, bro. Shanked. Prison shank me. This rare thing indeed to be granted an audience with the Clutch Mother. I hope this serves to help you understand how important these eggs are to us. Before you came to the cups, I had been searching for a means to assist her in giving birth. That is why I have been studying the relics of your people. Unfortunately, I found nothing that seemed suitable for this purpose. I cannot stress to you enough how important she is to us. She is mother of all Ondo. For every egg, brother and sister, we would do anything and everything to welcome them into this world and see them grow into healthy, happy Ondo. There must be some way in which we can help. You can help us achieve this end. Yeah, giant tub, that's what I'm thinking. Cole is an Ondo with a plan. There is one simple way in which we might be able to assist the Clutch Mother. I told you that I had once been saved by a finless one after being washed ashore. A woman who was heavy with child at the time as she nursed me back to health, she spoke of the importance of eating food rich in nutrients to heal the body and nurture the life within. I am told that laying eggs is a rather strenuous affair and that even the strongest clutch mothers took many days, if not weeks, to recover. And now, ours must attempt to do that without the aid of water. We must see her well fed and she has the strength and fortitude to weather this trial. We must serve her a hearty meal. And as a finless woman served me many times before. Minyiri, yes, Minyiri, of course. Many can be found in the north. Slay one and bring me its liver. Will serve our needs well. What that I could do this myself. But as a young and weak coal, I'm no match for even a single Minyiri. It must be you, Black Dragon. Right then, let's go hunt this Manarai. from me swallow swallow your pride and go away thank god I don't have to venture too far off wait he can take this guy down how is he supposed to protect his Good. It's just as good as the mask thing in it. It's like, like a puppet mask. If I could just wear the hood and have the visor off, that would be awesome. But I can't take the visor off either. See? It's really annoying. Have you the Miniri liver, Black Dragon? That is well. Keep it for now. Let us go and request another audience with the Clutch Mother that you might present it to her yourself. No, you will be not permitted to do so directly. Zeroshi on must first inspect the liver, after which he will see it delivered to the Clutch Mother. And that guy is like bullying him or something. Oh, speaking of hoods, I think I might have a hood somewhere. Cast glamour. Light on the hood of Fenley. Look at that. 
Did I go well with that? If I do display gear. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. look at that. Hide my weapon. And then if I hide my helmet. Hey, dude, this is pretty scary. It's like I'm. I'm. Darth Vader or something. And then I do. Slay, save, or delete. Outfit. What do you mean save or delete outfit? Oops. Then I do. Oh, look at that, man. It's pretty cool. Proper making me blind though. Ah, I don't know, the side's a bit messed up. You can see like, can you see? Pretty cool though. Ooh, look at that. Some scary stuff, guys. It's cool stuff. Lakeland. What's this? Zenobia. More like, what the heck is up with the... Can I die it? I can't even die it. Wow, this is stupid. No, I know that one. Anything else? Not true. Luminson soldier cap. Oh, okay. I think I'll keep it like that for now. Honor guest, I'm told you have a gift for the clutch mother. A fish liver, there you go. A Minyiri liver, I see, I see. This will provide ample nourishment for the clutch mother. A moment, if you would. Minyiri liver, how did you know it is my favorite? So soft, so supple it is. So long it has been since I dined so well. My children on board to delight in this feast. Many thanks to you, honored guest. This was Narush Cole's doing. Yes, he knows the clutch mother's taste very well. It is good that she eats and builds her strength. But liver alone will not suffice for our needs. I trust you both will continue to consider other ways you might be able to, to be of assistance. Tell Narush is Cole I said these words. So, gaining trust. Narush might be able to redeem in the eyes of uh, whatever his name is yeah. now hopefully he's come up with an idea my idea was to get a cup well black dragon Romeo was the clutch mother pleased yeah Oh, that is good. That is very good. To hear that she took such pleasure in our humble offering brings me joy. Female Ondor are quite rare, and so we hold them in the highest regard. Only they may become clutch mother. Only they may give rise to a new generations of Ondo. She is mother to all Ondo, and so all Ondo must do their utmost to offer her aid and comfort when she may shoulder this great responsibility. Each must find their own way to be a service. That is why I do not begrudge the Roshas for he for how he scolds me. He acts only out of concern for the clutch mother, as do I. He is right though, too, that an offering of liver alone will not suffice. Nay, we must do far, far more for the clutch mother's sake. He's waiting to hear a distant cry. Do you hear it, Black Dragon? That cry troubles me. Ah, perhaps too low for the finless ones to hear. We can we call to one another over great distances with such cries to coordinate hunts or simply to converse. It carries poorly now in the absence of water, but still I can hear it clearly. A moment, if you would. I must concentrate to discern the words. Ah, the hour is nearly upon us. The clutch mother's belly heaves. A new generation yearns to be born. 
but without water there is still danger and risk. The liver gave her nourishment but it is not enough, not nearly enough. The Roshis begs us to hurry and find other ways to help her summon the necessary strength. I can think of only one possibility. We must journey on to the shore and seek out the woman who granted me succor long ago. She was soon to be mother too, so she must surely have knowledge to aid the clutch mother's struggles. But we cannot approach her empty-handed. We must first procure suitable gifts, head to wear the dry return, and search for an unblemished shell. I shall search elsewhere for something of value. When you have finished, return here, but hurry, time is of the essence. So the clutch mother looks like octopus or something. That'd be funny. A fate going on. My uh, my friend's enemy is Animon of mine. Animon of mine. Gotta get it. Oh. Is it's called the anemone. That's what anemone. So my friend's enemy is anemone of mine. Uh, millennials. An unblemished shell has been received. Now we go back to four cups. Okay, back outside. Back at it again. Here you are, Black Dragon Romeo, give over your shell quickly. You have a keen eye for this, my friend. As for me, I found a small but exquisite pearl which is sure to please her. We have what we need. Let us head to the village of Stilltide and pray she can aid us in easing the Clutch Mother's pains. Stilltide. I see her black dragon robe here. Come with me.
What if there's a rope left over in the relics you were looking at? That could be it. Also, we could have just gotten a rope from the shore. You know? Common sense would dictate that. Like, like fine fancy, but every now and then it just drops a ball a little bit. Though she's not on though, that finless one carried her herself with the self same grace and of a clutch mother. Perhaps it is same for all who have brought children into this world. I can but hope that this rope she told us will serve to aid our clutch mother in this most trying of times. This birthing rope of which the finless woman spoke is our only option. We must be one at once, Black Dragon. However, we cannot rely upon the same materials as she did, for the Clutch Mother is far larger and stronger. We'll surely snap one of the traditional make. The tentacles of the sea anemone bound together, they could serve as an unbreakable rope. Once more, I would impose upon you, Black Dragon, for your skill at arms far outstrips mine own. I ask that you seek out and slay three of these creatures and take from each its strongest, stoutest tentacle. Much I have asked of you already, yet I fear I have no choice but to do so yet again. Only a warrior such as yourself or a proud Owen could triumph over anemones. They are ravenous ever hunting for the next meal. If you survey the grounds to the north of the cups, they will likely find you here you find them. Go quickly for the lives of the Clutch Mother's children hang in the balance. Take Games make me want to play World of Warcraft, and it sounds bad. I mean, there's nothing wrong with World of Warcraft. Just playing story mode, you know. That's fine now. So it's a hostile problem. Only I can have some kind of if the dark knight is a tiny bit more like that. The Warcraft is perfect for me. Especially like their blood skills. The death knight in the Warcraft is essentially main attack. But you could obviously spec other things. The best spec that I have you have death, which is like death, death, damage. I think it is basically like ice spec. But the one that I like was basically the tanky spec. But it was like a blood spec. That's what I would like. You know, just blood. And they had this one skill that I used to love. It's just like, I think you laid out this big circle of boiling blood or something. Uh, the enemies with the caught in it, and I think, I'm not sure, I think I still need a health from me and heal myself. And if that's the kind of stuff I really like, but cool. It's one scary seahorse. So you can see horse here, I saw a video the other day. The biggest seahorse was actually caught by a British horse. Once you caught one, you chose that to see. It's a good one, though. Because he wasn't fishing for what he was using. He just got caught in it. What a legend, man. What a legend. If I had a seahorse like that, I would have done it. That's the legend. Of the taxi journey. I had to see what someone wanted to do with it. I'm scared. Yes. Really need to do more damage. Look 
that? What is that? Tell me you have brought with you ten tentacles. Bless you, Black Dragon Romeo. Bless you. Far tougher and more robust these tentacles are than I had dared hope. I shall weave the rope at once. This shall take every ounce of my strength. Is finished. Here, take it, Black Dragon. Forgive me. I require a moment to rest. You must deliver the birthing road to Zerosh's own in my steed. Quickly. Honored guest, pray tell me you have brought something to aid the Clutch Mother in her hour of need. Yes, a birthing rope. A birthing rope, you say? I had not considered this. However, it is as effective as its finless mother claims, then this day may not end in tragedy. Let us hope that it helps the Clutch Mother to summon all her prodigious strength. Only female Ondo are permitted beyond the threshold. Therefore, I must instruct the clutch by this attendance in rope in the use ropes uses. Have them bind it to a suitable feature on the rock, and then honored guest, we must wait.
Oh, great. My mic was off and I was reading the text. Damn it. I knew I was not wrong to trust you and yours, Black Dragon. It has been an honor and a pleasure. My child require my every waking moment for the foreseeable future, but I'm sure that we will one day meet. Until then, fare you well. Sorry, I had to refuse the egg. I was, saying, I was thinking, how am I going to have an egg when I live outside the water? I don't make any sense, bro. So, 